All right, so let me expose this little buster, this little sucker real quick, this little chomo real quick. Um, I just happened to stumble upon this video because he was talking about Lomachenko and Anoe, and I wanted to hear what he had to say, but we all know this dude's a scumbag. He's, you know, he got kicked out of the army for diddling his subordinate. He's, we saw him attack a minor on live stream. He's a scumbag. Scumbag individual, just like the, the, some of them people I was talking to yesterday. But it's time to expose busters, and BFTB is a buster, and he's a cho. So um, let's get into it. So I wanted I wanted to hear what he had to say about Lomachenko and Anoe and these guys, and you know we'll, we'll break it down. I'm gonna get my Sean Newton on a little bit. Vasil Lomachenko is not ranked with the zone at all. ESPN, who has had He's talking about the pound for pound list and why did they did Lomachenko drop a couple of spots? Well, he hasn't been champion for a while now. I mean, I still have him on my pound for pound list. I don't know if he's top five, but definitely top ten. And you know, he he definitely still deserves to be on there. And and the other reason he dropped a little, maybe slipped in the rankings a little bit, is because he didn't look the greatest against Jermaine Ortiz in his last fight. But let, let's just listen. Vasil Lomachenko in the top five for years. Rightfully now so. This man to number nine. Rightfully so. He was ranked in the top five pound for pound for years, and rightfully so. He's one of the best fighters of the era. Uh, CBS, which has also had Vasil Lomachenko in the top five for years. Now has him at number nine. Okay. And magazine, who has had Lomachenko in the top five for years, has now dropped him to number seven. Okay. Now, all of these drops have happened within the past couple of months. Not even the past couple of months. Like Because like he didn't look great against Jermaine two, Ortiz. Past two or so months, they've been dropping this man left and right, dropping him around the top ten. The irony is he's about to fight Devin. Now, when he was fighting Nakatani Tukatuki, he was still top five. In all Prejudice against Nakatani right there, calling him Tukatuki because he doesn't want to take the name to pronunciate his name again, you know, because he's an Asian fighter. It's a piece of shit. All of these, right? Just, just, like, just, just like when 78 Sports TV called Rung Vasai Pacquiao's cousin. That's why I, I call Marcus Brown and some of these other dudes, these guys as cousins, because, you know, one hand washes the other. You want to talk about them like that, I'll talk about y'all like that. To uh, T.F. Lopez, and he did not drop out of the top five. That's not uh, true. In, in none of these. That's not true. He fought Nakatani. That's not true. As a matter of fact, the ring, after he lost to Teofimo Lopez, he dropped some spots because he was in the top three on everybody's list prior to losing to Teofimo. And, yeah, he dropped a little bit after that, but, you know, he, unfortunately, he wasn't get, given a title shot after beating two top contenders in Nakatani and Richard Comey last year. And then he, you know, had a good fight with Jermaine Ortiz, so, of course, he's not going to be, you know, <laughs> this guy's a fucking, this guy's a moron, man. Kutuki. He was top five in all of these. He beat Tukituki. He stayed top five in all of these. He was playing Call of Duty in the Ukraine war for like two and a half months. Now, here's this is this this is the definition of a piece of shit. He just said, "Oh, Lomachenko was off in the Ukraine playing Call of Duty while everybody else was at war." That's disgusting to me, man. I, I you know, I don't know how anybody like I say, I don't know how anybody with the, any honest person at least could even go to that level of disrespect. At least Lomachenko went over there and showed up, regardless of what his what his what his duties were there. At least he went and aided his country in time of need. Because like I say, we all know if, if Africa started getting bombed, BFTB and Bill Haney and none of these dudes would ever show up, bro, because they don't have they they don't have any heart or character. That's the lowest form of disrespect ever. Not to mention this dude's you know this dude's this dude's banned from every uh, from five hundred feet from every schoolyard. So let's continue. He came back. He fought his sparring partner. So he fought his sparring partner. He only sparred. With, first of all, he only sparred with Jermaine Ortiz a handful of times prior to Richard Comey. 
And if you want to talk about people fighting their sparring partner, why don't you talk about Deontay Wilder and Robert Hellanius? He was top five across the board. Um, he then dropped after his sparring partner. When it was time to fight, when it was Devin Haney that you're going to fight. Um, all of a sudden, he drops all the way down, completely off of his own. Uh, the bottom half of ESPN's, the bottom half of CBS, and the bottom half of the ring. Uh, the irony of this, the irony is that they did the exact same thing with Monster Anu. The exact same thing. Now he's bad mouth in the nose. With Monster Anu, he's fighting nobody, but he's beaten him. Monster and always fighting nobody. So Omar Narvaez, who's a fucking one of the one of the best little little men of the last twenty years, he's a he's 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 no he's a nobody. Nonito Donaire, a four way champion and a future Hall of Famer, is a nobody. Manny Rodriguez, who's in the top three at bantamweight, is a nobody. This dude doesn't know anything about boxing, man. The fact of the matter is, and though he had a harder road to Undisputed than Crawford, um, Haney, or in my opinion, probably even Charlo. So, you know, Juan Carlos Payano, you can't say he's fighting nobodies. This guy's a clown, man. Like, stop playing with me. I, and no, he's fighting nobodies, bro. Like I say, oh, okay, so... If he's fighting nobodies, then explain to me what Deontay Wilder's doing. Explain to me what Big Charlo's doing. Explain to me what Spence is doing. The guy's a clown, man. The guy's a clown. And oh, he's knocked out the three best dudes in his division. Casemiro's moving up, but he beat Maloney. He beat Nonito twice, and he beat Manny Rodriguez. He knocked out the top three guys in his division. Knocked all three of them out. Has Spence done anything like that? Has Wilder done anything like that? Well, I think well, I think not, sir. What? No need to donate? And that's pretty much it. But when Monster Nui was going through the rankings, fighting everybody, and not, not even going through the rankings, because Monster Nui just jumped in the top ten immediately. Same way well, that's team. because he was a three-way champion. That's because he was a three-way champion. Fight and he was fighting people, contradictory to what you're saying and saying that he fought nobodies. He was fighting people and he was a multiple weight champion. He was undefeated and he was knocking every the top dudes in his division out. So why wouldn't he be in the top five pound for pound, dummy? The threat, fighting someone that they believed that he would lose to, as long as he wasn't doing that, Monster knew he was top five and creeping. As you see on the scene, Rightfully so. Monster knew he is ranked number one. ESPN, he's ranked number two. The Zone, he's ranked number three. Ring Magazine, he's ranked number two. As long as he rightfully so, him and Uzik are the two best fighters in the world. He's not fighting nobody. I guarantee you, as soon as he fights or is even looked at as Cool Boy Steph is the next fight, Monster and Nui will drop down to like number seven. All of a sudden, there'll be somebody else that comes out the woodwork, and they're like, yeah, this is the guy. Some other bum-ass dude from the Philippines or from Thailand with 94. Racist against Asians. BFTB and the rest of the LDBC are prejudiced against Asians. Straight wins and no losses, all knockouts, fighting the same guy 64 times. You know, then all of a sudden, they're like, yeah, this is the next guy right here. The same way they did with Roman Gonzalez. Chocolatito. The same thing they did with that bum-ass nigga. Oh, he's not a bum. You call Chocolatito a bum ass nigga. Okay, so if Chocolatito's a bum, right? One of the best little fl little guys we've seen in the past 50 years. If Chocolatito's a bum, then what does that make the Charlo sisters? What does that make Wilder? What does that make Spence? Those guys are not anywhere near Chocolatito in terms of greatness, in terms of Hall of Fame credentials, in terms of resume, in terms of any of that. So if you're going to call Chocolatito a bum, then that makes all your favorite fighters less. They're all lesser than Chocolatito. So this dude's an idiot. So you already you've said prejudice shit about Asians. You've disrespected Lomachenko and him going to, you know, showing up to the Ukraine when his country's getting bombed. You're talking shit about Asians, calling them Tuka Tuka and all that. Scumbag. Chocolatito's a bum. You don't know shit about boxing, bro. And I appreciate the fact that you blocked me 
on your on your live streams because you know and I know that you don't have the balls to come over to my live stream and debate me. Where I'm not gonna, you know, we 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 both know that you don't have the balls to do that. And and secondly, um, you know, I tried to come on your channel, I tried to go into your backyard and debate you, but you fucking blocked me. You're a clown, man. You're a cho. You're a clown chomo. Yeah, he is. Roman Gonzalez, all right, he's a good fighter. But uh, he only lost to a select few fighters. Why isn't he on the pound-pound rankings anyway? Where I got Chocolatito on the pound-for-pound pound rankings. They should everybody else in, you know, with a credible list. Did Chocolatito go? The motherfucker was <coughs> number one, and then what happened? Where's he at? Nowhere. He, he told, it's not like he's getting beat the fuck up by everybody. He, he's losing to what, what we would call top names. So... Why wouldn't he be top 10? Right. And even if you did believe Estrada won, well, he definitely did. Estrada definitely didn't win the second fight, but the third fight was debatable, right? Even if you thought Chuck Latito lost the last two fights to Estrada, which he didn't, but even if you thought that and you believed that, Estrada's a great fighter. What You know, it's like when these dudes used to say, oh, Pacquiao got exposed because Marquez beat him. Marquez is one of the best Mexican fighters of all time. There's no shame in losing to him, regardless of who you thought won or lost. This dude doesn't know anything about boxing, bro. This is what happens when you start watching boxing when you're 30-something years old and not doing it from, a, from birth like your boy over here. Ten. You see Usyk on here, ranked number one on two of them. But he Rightfully so. He's ranked in all four, right? Rightfully but so. Mysteriously, what y'all were telling me for the longest time is, oh man, you can't put Deontay Wilder on a on a on a, on a power pound list. Deontay Wilder's a heavyweight. You can't put heavyweights on the list, man. Heavyweights don't be on the list. Even if, well, and I I'm of the belief that you can put heavyweights on the pound for pound list, but even still, because his next arguments can be, well, why wasn't Wilder on there? I can, you know. Even if you do put heavyweights on the pound for pound, which, which which I believe you can, they did it for years. They did it with Ali. They did it with Lennox Lewis. They did it with Holyfield. But this kid wasn't watching boxing back in the day. They did it with Klitschko, so he wouldn't know. He's a, he's a newbie to the sport of boxing. He doesn't know shit about boxing. So they've been doing that for years. Then all of a sudden, some dickhead said, "Oh, you can't put heavyweights on the pound for pound list." Yeah, you can. But with that being said. Deontay Wilder would never have been on there, even if you do include heavyweights on your pound for pound list, because Deontay Wilder never beat nobody of substance. Usyk is in every last one of them. Number one in the zone. Number six in ESPN. Number five with CBS. Number one in the ring. Ring Magazine. The, the gold standard of boxing has I could keep this going up all, up all day, but I think we're getting the point. The guy's a, a prejudiced chomo. He disrespected Asian Asian people. He disrespected the Ukraine. He disrespected Lomachenko for him trying to aid his country in his time of need. You said Chocolatito's a bum, and I know he doesn't deserve to be on the pound for pound. It's like, do I even need to say anything else? I'm through with this guy, bro. If you if you listen to anything this dude has to say, you're an idiot. Because he doesn't either. He is so prejudiced and so hateful that he would say shit like that, or he just doesn't know his boxing. And in honest opinion, it's a little bit. And honestly speaking, it's pro, it's a little bit of both. But I just wanted to give you guys a taste of how stupid some of these people are on YouTube that actually comment on the sport of boxing and they that don't know anything about it. Most of them have never put on a pair of boxing gloves before. And I just wanted to make an example of this. So we got the big Yoka Franco fight tonight. I got Kazuto Yoka unanimous decision. Um, I'm going to try and stay up for it. We'll see what happens. I can't do live commentary because it's too late in the night. In the still of the night. But with that being said, God bless everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you next time. Salute.